I'm going to clean this up, prep it, and paint it. If you spend some time around bridge ports, you'll notice that the castings are pretty rough. And from the factory, a good deal of filler, or well, Bondo type material, is used to smooth things out. The paint also has some adhesion issues. I don't want to remove all the paint, I just want to smooth it out, sand it, and prep it for good adhesion to the new paint. Not in the mood to take everything apart and reapply all the filler and all the Bondo to everywhere to make it look new. But at the same time, I still want it to look nice, so yeah, I'm going to touch it up a little bit here and there. There is some surface rust on some of the bare metal. That will clean up very quickly with a Scotch-Brite pad and some acetone. Also, the power feed has a nice paint job straight from the factory. It's not going to match what I'm doing, but I like the way it looks, and it's going to fit in just fine. This machine it was in the family. It was my wife's grandpa's. Uh, Richard Sabota, pretty cool guy. If you've been on my channel, you'll see some of the videos with him. He's no longer with us, but um, the machine is. So I am going to do my best to get this thing tuned up and keep it in the family for the next uh, few generations. So there you go. That is a quick introduction. I have some of the small parts from the head and the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. I spent the last four or five hours working on this today and it's going pretty good. For the most part I'm just sanding to get any loose paint off and smoothing any chips. So there's some spots that were chipped like up here just kind of smoothing that out. Trying to get a surface that is intact that new paint will stick to. I've started sorting things by where they came off. Some pieces I'm sandblasting, like this one. Other pieces I can polish. So I just chucked that in a lathe and polished it. Pretty much everything has gotten degreased. This was painted. I don't know why. It's really pretty. So we're going to leave that polished. These pieces right here, the paint had really poor adhesion. So I just sandblasted it. And that turned out pretty good. Other than that, the collet holder has been sandblasted, again, just for adhesion properties. Same with that, and same over here. Sandblasting works wonders on some of these cast iron parts that had poor paint adhesion. I've also started cleaning up nuts and bolts that were painted. Again, the paint did not stick to it, so we're going to Clean it up and leave it as raw metal. Yeah, I gotta know. Here's a little control. Yeah, that would have turned purple right away. I do not have lead paint on the bridge port. Sweet. Well, it's been a little while. No snow on the ground yet. Back at it. Got distracted with some other projects. Um, but anyway, this is all cleaned up nice. Cool little track installed too. That moves nicely too. Anyway, here we go. Acetone, container number one. Paper towel roll, number one. Little status update. 
I am. Hang on, let me turn the camera on. I'm all pr uh, protected because, uh, yeah, decided to take the paint off the column. So I'm going to wire wheel the spots that get a lot of grease and abuse and back there. The rest of it is not going to be uh, this destructive of paint removal. This is absolutely miserable. This sucks. Yeah. Okay. I am a disaster. So is this room. I'm not stuffed up from the dust. I have a cold. Just if you're wondering, not killing myself in here. Wore a respirator. I'm good. Also, there's a power vent fan going up there. <laughs> anyway, cleaned up the spots that were the worst. And uh, yeah, going to clean up now, and then the rest will all be done by hand. And then everything will get a good wipe down, and then we're ready for paint. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll stick. Just ran a orbital sander, actually a Rotex style, if you know what that is. And that really just gums up sandpaper like crazy. So here, yeah, they just get polished. The paint just gums it up instantly. So what I'm going to do now is do some touch up. And I have a bunch of this stuff. Uh, it's some 100 grit. It's cheap, which is fine because it's gonna clog up way before it weighs out, wears out. All the six inch um, 3M Cubitron, that good stuff, um, it'd be totally wasted here. I'm gonna keep that for my wood shop. So again, I'm a woodworker, but I'm ranching out. So if there's one thing I'm already good at, it is surface prep. We're ready for paint. Everything has been cleaned up. Uh, washed in acetone, top to bottom. Found a bronze uh, bushing right there that was painted over. Yeah, looks good. Cleaned up the table wells at it too. Anyway, that's all for tonight. Gonna come back tomorrow when there are fewer acetone fumes and paint it. Pretty happy. All right. Well, good morning. Back at it. Time to add some paint. All right, things went pretty good yesterday. And uh, yeah, time to put the rest of the paint on. Um, small parts look good, by the way. So, and yeah, I guess we'll start right over with the fan. All right. Still a little bit of tack on that. So I think we'll let that harden and then put another coat on later.
did a little touch up on these. Looks pretty good actually. And maybe a drip here or there, but we'll figure that later. First coat of paint on, went on good and thick. Um, had to be very careful because I'm painting a machine that is already put together, but I think it went pretty good. I'm very happy. Now the tricky part is um, resisting that urge to like touch up anything that I see wrong right now and uh, let the paint actually dry to, um, well it's tacky right now, so dry to the point where you could um, easily remove it with your fingernail but not to the point where it's going to rub off and leave a fingerprint. So come back later and uh, do some touch up. It's been 24 hours, about, and the paint is dried. It's not hard, it's dry though. And I went back and looked at it, and there's a few rough spots. They really stand out with the paint. And I figured, well, I need to do another touch-up just to get some of the spots that I missed, or where the paint wasn't thick enough. Might as well touch it up with a little bit of auto body filler. Well... Bondo. So you can see I've done some touch up. So yeah, we'll see how it uh, how it turns out. Well, the sanding took a little longer than I thought. Uh, it's a lot smoother here though. I'm excited to see what it looks like when the paint dries. Also, not gonna be perfect, but filled in some of the big spots something I'm happy about is I wanted to touch up around the head here because there are some chunks missing I think that will make a pretty big difference right there I'm super excited it's assembly time we're gonna have a finished fully painted cleaned up bridge port by the end of the night so now if we look at the workbench here are all the parts. They're going to go on the bridge port, and in just a little bit, it's going to be all done.
while cleaning it up, I found a cool bronze bushing was painted over. I think that uh, looks pretty good. Power feed is the only thing I did not paint. Found a Kurt Weiss uh, 4 inch. Pretty happy to have that. And then I have a quick little kind of like cam lock drilling vise. So machine vise, drill vise. I did end up painting the handle, kind of freshen it up. Up top, things went pretty well. You can see the paint's not perfect. I think it's still pretty good. If I want to touch it up, I can. The big part was getting in all the nooks and crannies and like painting up the knobs because there's no way to get behind any of that without taking it apart. Even painted the motor housing. These lights were on it originally. So these are some old fashioned incandescent bulbs. Left them white. I like the way it looks against the gray. I did add these little hangers. It's just threaded rod with some, I believe it's a fuel line tube put over it. So I can hang my box wrenches. I prefer using the box wrenches for all the adjustments. Tool holder, or the collet holder is nice and painted. I cleaned up all the bolts. I like seeing those unpainted. I see where on some this is left unpainted. Um, I guess I painted over mine. I'm okay with that. This was originally painted over. It looks much better polished. Same thing here, this little disc was painted over. All the bolts and fasteners were cleaned up. I did my best to leave those unpainted. I like the way it offsets, plus the paint will flake or chip off of any kind of coated part anyway. This is not original. I just did that really quick because there was nothing there before. Just something to hold on to for switching between settings. Yeah, and the bridge port, that is original. I did not paint or touch that up. I thought that was kind of cool. A little shelf on the back. Uh, some of the lesser used stuff, just a place to store it. So yeah, there you go. And you can see over in this corner, I have a switch box and a VFD there is going to be a lathe going over here that's currently being restored. And that's what this belongs to. It's a pretty big lathe. But my first VFD is over here. I use the same switch box. There's a forward and reverse, but now there's only forward. If I left the contactors in, some weird electrical stuff happens. So it only has that setting. If you go up, nothing happens. VFD is pretty cool. Got this from uh, Jack's English Machines. I think that's his YouTube or his Instagram channel, Jack Forsland. And it took a bit of work, but it's all programmed in. And it is so cool being able to dial it in. You can see I have it set for the Hertz. And then I also program the RPMs. So at the current setting, it'll show how many RPMs the head is spinning at. And it also does reverse. And you can switch between the two and it'll slow down and gradually change. So you can't really hurt anything, which is great. So what I need at this point. There's also a second setting on the VFD. So when I drop it into the low speed, it'll also show the RPMs in that. And that's programmed for that setting on the pulleys. If I move it to different pulleys, the RPM is not going to be correct anymore. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm very excited to get, uh, well, 
grandpa's, my wife's grandpa, his Bridgeport all cleaned up and in my shop. And uh, again, I'm a woodworker for now, for my hobby, but I think there is some metalworking in my future. Maybe tool making. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And uh, until next time.